So you know what it is, blue and yellow, blue and yellow, blue and like yellow, that. blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. yellow. Everybody, SB in the city. I'm your host, the Big Soul. With me, as always, Chris Busy B. Say what's up. Pow. All right. First things first. Last night, and it, it, it. The funny thing about it is, I'm realizing in my old age that I'm becoming more and more of a romantic. It's a really roma- a romantic. A, a romantic. A romantic. A romantic. A romancer. No, a romantic. I'm becoming. Beca- I'm becoming more You're of becoming romantic. More romantic. No, I'm becoming more of a romantic. It's simple more English. It's okay. I'm gonna buy you a dictionary and everything. More of a romantic. romantic. Yes, that's right. I just saw uh, uh, the astronaut's wife. I love it. It's not I- the astronaut's wife. Or I'm time, sorry, not the astronaut. The, I'm sorry, the time travelers, the time travelers' wife. Excellent fucking movie. I agree. Excellent I agree. movie. Just to, for, for the correction of the name, but other than that. Right, right. No, okay, yeah, okay, you got me. Ooh. But uh, yeah, excellent fucking movie. I loved it. I loved it. But this brings me to the oh, topic. God, you're gonna bring up a butt. Today's a conversation. Butt okay, time travel. Yeah. You know what? It is not possible. Time Why travel not? Why not? is not possible. Come on. All right? They I, said it is. They didn't say it is. They're worried about the black hole. They're, okay. Black hole, They're not black hole. worried about creating a black hole. Okay, you've got all your facts fucked up right now. Well, they explained it. What they were talking about was within a black hole, on the edge of the black hole is when it starts to suck time, space, light. It starts to suck that in. Nothing can escape a black hole. So at the rim of this black hole, it tends to twist things so that they say that time is not linear. Because when it twists up, it brings time closer together. And you could either travel forward or travel backwards. I get it. I get the theory. But it's not possible. Why is it not possible? It's not possible because it would be now. They're saying they can bring, send people in the future to come back before they even left. That's not what they're saying. That's what they said. They used that as an example. That's an example. Right, that you can go back in time. That you'll be able to go forward in the future to be able to come back in time. Before you left, right. Before you left. I get it. But that's my point. Does that make sense? Though? It does make sense. It does make sense. That's how to they, that's how to they a came degree. Up with the black hole theory, though. They I get it. That you'll wind but up again, a complete loop and a loop and a loop. Again, it's not possible because it would have happened already. Once that gap is closed, once time travel is possible, there is no, we discovered this 20 years from now. Because 20 years from now is now. Time is now singular. There is no space-time continuum. It's all one thing. If we were to have time travel 50 years from now to be able to go back in time, we would have now time travel. Everything we need now, that would be then. It would already be. And it frustrated me. What if they don't want to do that, technically? What? What if they don't really want to alter things that in that way? I've heard theories that in time travel, you can only go forward. These That's are all theories. First of all, forward, these are all theories back, that you can only go forward. Left. Okay? This, again... It doesn't make much sense. Because if you go forward, you erase yourself from the present. 
There is no tomorrow for you. You've skipped over tomorrow. Jesus Christ. How long you been thinking about this? I've actually <laughs> been thinking about this a little a little bit. What the fuck? A little bit. Jesus Lord, have mercy. Listen, it's 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 one of those things. And if anybody has any theories on this, please you more than welcome to uh uh write comment whatever you want. But the reality of it is is time travel, my friends, is not possible. Or else it I would think, be I think now. One day it might po be possible. No, see, there. See, again, you it keep saying be. one day. One day is today if it was possible. There is no one day so why, or some day. Okay, that day would be today, would no, be now. Well, because they, time no, no, travel no, no, is... is, is the thing is, that why, the reason why they wouldn't allow people to go back in time, how you're saying, per se, is because... It would only benefit those people that can go back in time. What? It would be more selective. Okay, for example, that means you could go back in time and you could tell yourself fucking all the winning numbers to the lotto. Right? But you're talking about the average person. Well, We're not talking about the average person. The no, you're talking about the average person. We're not company. talking about the average person. What we're talking about is if we can time travel, who's going to tell me that if you had the ability to time travel, now let's just say, as the average person, you did the lottery, whatever, you did all these things. But as a time traveler, would it not be your mission to stop 9-11, to kill Hitler before he got power, to, to stop these great catastrophes you know, you sound like this in other history? Movie. What's this other movie you're relating to right now? I don't know. Uh, with uh, Tom Cruise, is it? With Tom Cruise? What yeah. the hell are you talking about? One of these movies that he's in, where he plays a time cop. And he what plays, the fuck are you talking about? He plays about? a time cop. <laughs> listen, listen. And he goes back and he catches motherfuckers. <laughs> before. He catches motherfuckers before they do the crime. Oh, wait a minute. I know what, talk, what movie you're talking about. Shit, I can't think of the you name. You know exactly what, what I'm talking and about. And the ball, and there's, there's a ball, ball that comes ball. out, and then the ball that just... The and how do you get arrested for a crime that you haven't committed? Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Now, okay, take that for instance. But I mean it on a larger scale. That's more instant, like, we find out 10 seconds, 15 minutes before it happens, we go stop it. But if you have the power to not just time C, but time travel... That's what that movie's about, time seeing, being able to see into the future. Yeah, but you're still saying that. Why would No, what I'm talking about is being people. able to go back in time, not seeing back in time, but going back in time and actually stopping people or stopping... That's what they did in the movie. No, they it's not. What they did, time. no. What they did was and they saw them. into the future and stopped the future from happening. That's what they did in that movie. Like the opening, the opening scene was the guy was supposedly gonna kill his girlfriend. They saw into the future that he was supposedly gonna kill his girlfriend. So they got there in time so that he would not do it. He didn't commit a crime. Okay, I see what you're saying now. Yes, yes, yes. The incogs, that's what they call them. Right? There you go. Right. They they read the future or they whatever read the it was. Future before it happened. You're right. You're right. But as a time traveler, missions. To stop Hitler, stop 9-11, to uh, 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 just, I, if I sit here and do the research, of course, you know what I mean? All the specific, to stop the killing of JFK, to uh, feel me, to save feel Princess me, Diane. to save Princess Diane, whatever it may be. But that's my point. Thank you for saying that. That's my point. If it was possible, don't you think somebody... Would have already tried that. Would, wouldn't this have been done already? We wouldn't have been through all this misery. Or does it become a thing of don't change it because of the butterfly effect? If oh, we now, stop see, Hitler, now you got like a whole triangle. If we stop Hitler, if we stop Hitler, who's to say that the Jews don't take over the world? You understand what I mean? Yeah. Who's the next tyrannical being that could have possibly been worse if we would have stopped him? Okay. Is that a reason not to change the past? 
But then why have the option of going into the past? There's a lot of these scenarios that... There's another movie, actually, that I want you to check they out. They don't... Too. Another time travel movie. I, uh, time travel movies are good. He makes a con- Zombie makes movies are excellent. It's like a scientist dude who makes this contraption where he goes... You're talking about fucking time traveling. The, time the, original, traveling. the original, the original jump off. Of course, of course. But in real terms, this is what I'm thinking because I've also watched a couple shows about uh, creating a, 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 a star. I know we created a star. We created a, a negative, uh, negative gravity star, which is incredible. It stayed like around for like two minutes. It was good while the machine was on, but the machine takes so much power and blah, 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 blah. As soon as they turn the machine off, in two minutes, it died out. But we had, like, this black negative hole, dead star. Like, I can't even explain it. It's fucking... And then you get into this whole thing that we saw about the black hole bending the the, the time-space continuum and actually using that. I Listen, I've just... If you're going to do a time travel movie, if you're going to do a time travel something, take the time to think about what the fuck you're writing. Because there was a lot of discrepancies within the movie. As much as I did like the movie, the within time the traveler's movie of wife. The, story or, or the, the time traveler's wife. Of the, of the, the concept of the of time, time travel. travel. Yes. And like the, 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 the small mistakes that they made. The, the one thing I did like about that is. And. This is going to sound fucked up, and I don't want it to sound fucked up, but the best part of that movie is the only person that really dies is the wife. The husband lives forever. The daughter lives forever because they're both time travelers. And the wife, she dies. She just dies. She just dies. Life. Natural causes. Just She's just one life. She's dead. One life. That's it. They get to keep living it over and they over just, and over. Yeah, they're just continuously all around. But the one aspect of the movie that is a plus on her end is that she won't end up with a 60 year old husband when she's fucking 70 80 her husband's still gonna be 30 (laughs) her kids are still gonna be fucking seven and eight and nine and she'll even be able to meet her kid at 70 where she's 70 and her kid is 70 so there's a whole thing i i really enjoyed the movie i really did but it just got me thinking a lot about time travel like what would you do if you can time travel and then i turned around and i started wiki wiki wikipedia all right and you look at the dates the hell are you doing you look at the dates this time this this day in other times 1499 catherine of aragon is married by proxy to arthur tudor prince of wales like what for for people that are you know Fans of this, or whatever it may be, wouldn't you want to go to these things? Okay, 1643. 30, uh, 30, 30 year war. French undergo uh, war against the Spanish. Battle of Ricochet. I mean, this is incredible stuff. And I just, it, it made me do, start doing research on history and things of this nature. And it just, it blows me away how intense a conversation, something stupid. Like time travel can can bring you all this knowledge. And that's the point to this show, people. Just in case, I'm just clarifying for everybody, we get philosophical about the, the dumbest shit of it out there. Philosophical. We get facilicis about dumb shit. That's the point to this show. Okay? Philosophicalis. Philosophical about dumb shit. I've been talking now for fifteen minutes. About fucking time travel. How about, sad is that? About time in my nuts. About time in my nuts on your mom's chin. <laughs> Loser. Oh, God. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What? I need another drink. Oh, shout out to our bartender. Not around again. So I had to drink my own, I had to make my own drink, and it sucks. So... <laughs> And for anybody out there, I'm drinking Kahlua and milk. I made the mistake of calling it a white Russian. I got checked. I got checked by nerd's wife. Sour power. She told me that it wasn't a right a white Russian. So I don't know what the name is. It's Kahlua and milk. Half and half on the rocks. 
What is it called? Get back to me. Because if it's not called something, I'm no naming it Irish my goddamn house, self. If there was Bailey's Irish Cream in the house, it'd be perfect. Well, whatever. I'm going to name that drink. If there's no okay. fucking name out there for that drink, I'm going to name that drink. Name and it. if you steal my idea, it's going to be beef. What's it going to be? The white German Regan? It's going to your mother on her knees. That's oh, what I'm, oh, 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 that's what I'm going to call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. 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 Thank you, thank you. Holy shit. That was a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I was so glad the last couple days have been shitty. Today was just an absolutely gorgeous day out today. Today's weather? Oh, yeah. Beautiful out today. Beautiful out today. Took the time. All the trees is growing from all the flooded rain. Went went cross town. Got myself uh, something to eat. You know, sat in the city, watched the people. It was nice. It was decent, you know? Was it soul in the city? It was it was soul in the city. It was S B in the city. That's right, all day. But it was really nice. That's great. That's great stuff. You know I accommodate you. It's funny because if you take the time in Manhattan to just stop. Just stop. And just just chill for a second. Erase your thought for a second. You will actually see just some of the most beautiful scenes of of architecture, humanity. The wow factor. The the wow factor. There is so much to be had if you just stop and smell the fucking roses. Or the dog piss in this in this case. But shitty. it's just I, I I'm just shitty city. You know, and for everybody that lives in New York, you you tend to get tainted by the city, and it, it overwhelms you, and you, you get... But that's what I mean. If you just take those two seconds, and you kind of fall in love with where you came from again. You kind of fall in love with New York again. If you just take those three seconds to just soak it in. Because that's all it takes sometimes. Because we're on the run. We're doing business all the time. We're on the move. Getting checks. Getting money. Go here. Go there. Connect with this guy. By the time you get home, you forgot to look around. And I, it just, it caught me by surprise. I, where was I? I was on the east side. On the east side of town, I'd say midtown, not even so far up, between like 14th and 23rd around there. Just, I, you know, sorry. Sorry I went on that tinge. I need a cigarette. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Yeah, you fucking pitch. We got a lot of wow factor in. Wow factor. You know, ever since you saw that on the show, you've been saying that. Yeah, wow, wow factor. factor. What the fuck is the wow factor? <laughs> Can somebody explain to me what the fuck okay. is the wow factor? You want to know what the wow factor is? I'll explain it to that you. That sounds like and a I'll, I'll explain it to you. way to sound cool about look, make it, bringing you to somewhere I'll that's I'll explain cool. it to you real look clear. The wow factor. I'll explain it to you real it's, clear. It's the wow factor, please. When you take I off your pants... It says it. Your girl goes, oh, oh how wow. cute. When I take that's off my pants, your girl says, wow. No. See, that's the wow factor. Wow. That's the wow factor. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Rolling my eyes, looking to the sky, just like, okay, wow. There's your wow factor. You want to know what the wow factor is? Ask a girl after a night with me. That, that Then you'll know what the wow factor is. Wow. <laughs> that's a lot of wow. <laughs> Oh my, wow. Oh, no, you know the wow factor. Everybody knows what the wow factor is. And some, actually, no. Some people don't know what the wow factor is. The wow factor is when you like, good example is where I would, what I was just talking about. When you walk into a place or you see something that it has, it, it just has a feel of it that makes you go, wow. Okay. The wow factor. And it, it really is a selling tool. Okay. Because that's what you want when you're either shopping for, like, a, a real estate or you're shopping for a car. Come on, man. You should know better than anybody when you're shopping for a car. Because yeah, you go through it, cars it sounds, like certain people go through shoes. It sounds like a little tight-ass way to be like, look at this. Why do you put rims on a car? And why so do you put a system in there? Why do you, why do, you do all that word. shit to a car? It's for like, the wow factor. Like, wow. It's for the wow it factor. It speaks for itself. Wow. 
My watch talk for me, and my whip talk for me. That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Homie. That's right, that's right. <laughs> See, yeah, you know what it is. You know what I mean? Oh, Lord. Oh, the wow factor. It's phenomenal. It's what makes us stars. It's what makes us walk into a room and, like, people know. They go, wow, look, it's them. Who? The SB and the City Boys. Yeah. Oh, wow. You, oh, you know wow. what it is. <laughs> You know what it is, man. It sounds kind of sloppy after a while. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, after a while, it sounds pretty good. Wow. Janash says, wow. Everything's wow. Everything's wow. wow. Well, cool. <laughs> it's awful. It's awful. But, there, no, the wow factor is important. Mm. It's like hearing some absurd shit that just went down, and you're like, wow. That was awful. Wow. I that never was think. awful. You never think because you were so fucking stupid. <laughs> You're an idiot. Truly. Truly an idiot. You know what the funny thing is? Is that I'm starting to realize happiness can kill funniness real fucking fast. Did you hear how bad that joke was? Happiness will kill funniness so fucking fast. And this guy seems to be happy these days and it's making me Nauseous. Happy because what? Happy because what? Happy because why? Happy? Because you're happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. And there's nothing uh, funny about uh, happiness. Yeah. There's just nothing funny about happiness. It makes me nauseous how fucking happy you are. I'm not even happy. I'm just... Uh-huh. Good spirit. I'm in good spirit. You're in good spirits? I'm in good spirit. All right. You can't let nobody All try right. to take you down. No struggle... No complicated situations, no off days, no puddles spraying on you, no birds shitting on your head. Well, you know what? I'm a hater. So I hate anyway. So you still got a smile. And, uh, uh, and guess what? Hi, hater. That's right. That's right. I'm smiling at you. you of like course. That? You like my smile? I hate you. I hate you in so many Your different hate ways. Is a like. you know? Your hate is like the word like. It is, but it is though. It, it really is. is. I hate like you. I like to hate you. Because if I really <laughs> don't like you, I'm not going to say shit about you, to be quite honest. Everybody knows that. If I don't like you, I'm not I'm not saying your name for nothing. For nothing. Yo, why? Yo, didn't I ask you to turn all the phones off? Yeah, it's not my fault. You it's know. not your fault. We're getting incoming calls. <laughs> Incoming! Oh Lord, Back man! Shots. I'm telling you, it's, it's this fucking guy, yo. This fucking guy. Stop playing. Put the phone down. Stop playing with the phone now. Tell him to stop calling. They can all stop. They, they can all kiss ass till we get done. Kiss ass. They can all kiss ass. They can all kiss ass. Kiss ass. So if there's a whole bunch of phone calls right now, calling specifically for the show right now, you tell them all kiss ass. Well, right now, actually, yes, I would. Yeah. Right now, I would. Cause I'm, I'm. What I'm, do you prefer? You prefer dudes to call to talk shit about how they hate you because you're such a hater, or do you prefer bitches to call and say like, "Hey guys, hey, we love you. We want to suck your penis." Wow. Or, or, wow. Fact. Wow. Or. Wow. Or, or, Are you kidding me? Or the last A, B, or C. The third would be: Would you want somebody to say, "I'd like to sign some checks." Well, granted, number three, always, you call for checks. I'll dead this show right now. I'll turn off the fucking mic. You got a check for me. Right now, I'll turn it off. <laughs> or I'll keep it on for another eight hours if you got a check. check. For you, but it has, if like, you got a check for you, but it has a penny on it. <laughs> well, come on. Let's not get smart here. I mean, smart ass. for real. I mean, fucking, let's keep it real. But you know, what, you know what I would rather have? Call me and invite me to fucking dinner. That's what I would rather have. Who? Any, any, anybody that's out there. Call me and invite me to dinner. All right, so Jerry's. <laughs> Tommy Boys. Okay, whoa, whoa. Tony, don't touch me. Peter Pipers. Tony, don't touch me. My point being is, I'm talking about some real cool shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, holla. So a chick, a female. What if a female wants to take you If out? a female wants to take me out, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I'm saying, oh, yeah? if, 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 you want, if, if, if you a cool dude and you want to chill... We could chill. But that sounds I'm trying so to meet gay, people. Sir. Nah, not on some homo that shit. That sounds so gay, sir. 
I'm sorry, sir. That doesn't sound appropriate. It ain't sir. on some homo shit. That's... I'm talking about on some cool ass shit. You know listen, what I'm saying? Listen, I try listen. to build my family every All right, day. So if a dude calls you, chat says, "Yo, look, let's go chill." I think, yo, we could relate. We could chill, politic, have some fun. Next thing you know, you chilling with him like four or five hours into here, you laughing, chilling with him, and he go and try to like kiss you. Over. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Rub his hand Stop on your it. leg or something. Stop it! What you gonna do now? Stop it! You gonna regret you went Stop out, it. old boy? Stop it! Nobody's saying anything like that, yo. I'm talking about some cool I'm not shit, we, yo. We, we, Come we, on, you, you gotta be homophobic. You try to, you try, you saying. trying to g me right now, and it ain't even working, nigga. I'm talking oh, about right. some cool shit, yo. You know what I'm saying? You want to call? I don't see. You that. know what? How's that possible? Unless what you got you big, big money like that. Let me You're tell like, you yo, something. Let's go to this party. Let something. me tell you something. And I don't care. This, I don't really care how this sounds. I I don't really care how this sounds. Hang out with dudes if you ain't talking business. When I was living down south, I used to whip. I had my own uh, radio station down there. I was doing my show down there. And I would have to drive to my radio station every day. Now, on my way leaving one day, if anybody knows down south, there you need a car. You need a fuck. I'm going <laughs> to kill this guy. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to fucking kill him. I'm going to rip his goddamn throat out. Come on, man. What are you doing? Sorry, sir. What the fuck are you doing right now? I lost my whole train of thought. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. You're a fucking asshole. And to make it worse, to make it worse... It's the hate in the blood. Right before... He came on air. He had these stupid Mr. Peeper glasses that I can't talk to. Oh Lord, man. Way to kill. You know, you spend you spend all this time trying to build up a vibe, and then you just dead it with like just one simple fucking like phone call, or you just just gone, just gone. Saved by the Great bell. Great time. <laughs> Saved by the bell. Is that what it is, or just destroyed by the annoyance? I think that's more what it is. Bastard. I make it a point to turn off everything too. My phones, everything, Turn everything. Turn your shit off. Turn your the shit off when you come in the theater. God damn! I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. That's how frustrated I just got. You gotta press rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, guys. We're gonna put you on pause and press rewind for a second. Hold on. <laughs> do, all right. do, do you see what happens when you have happiness? You just fucking get distracted. You forget shit. Happiness. Oh, this no, fucking prick. That's the... It's the good spirit trying to come and rise above it. Yeah. Uh huh. Whatever you have to say to make yourself feel better. How about that? That's great. Jack off. Jack off. Go ahead, jack off. Janet Jack meet. I say, let's get ready for this show. He says, yeah, I'm down. Let's do this. Hold on. He really goes into his bag, gets a sweater, a hat, and matching shoes. He had to get dressed with an outfit for an audio show. I don't know if anybody understands what yeah, I'm yeah. For an audio show. Nobody what? sees it but me. Okay. He looks like Mr. Rogers. I shit you not. Basically, he's telling you I'm looking fly right now. I didn't say anything of the sort. So if you ain't Anything okay. of the sort. Unless you find, my worst days, unless you find my worst Mr. Days, Rogers I, hot, it's pajamas, not an issue. Look fresh. And I'm sure there's a whole genre of freaks for that one, the Mr. Rogers Club. I'm sure you can one of my join quotes, them. I could wear any outfit you wear, just my size or whatever, however I want to ensemble it, and still look better than anybody on this planet. How about that? It, you know what? That's I some fucking, real cocky shit right I here, hate right? this that dude, cocky. yo. I hate yeah. this dude, yo, because he's got kind of a point. Like the nigga knows how to dress. He know he got his dress game down. I don't. I, me and him are the odd couple, yo. I dress the way I fucking want. I don't give a shit. And he steps out meticulous, and it's fucking. It makes me nauseous. I don't even know why we're fucking friends, yo. On that fucking note, you guys can keep your heads, <laughs> keep your heads up and uh, keep your eyes open because we got this odd couple. <laughs> really yeah, we we do. That's in the works, people. But on that note, uh. This is SB in the City. This is the end of the show. I wish we had more time with you people. Maybe next time 
We'll uh Maybe next time you it. won't forget where he left off. Yeah, maybe next time I won't <laughs> maybe next time we'll turn off the fucking phones. Uh, uh anyway, you that's can, what happens when you got haters. You can bro. always you find us. You can find me at the government, one word. T H U G O V T at Gmail, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, uh you name it. We're also on YouTube. Uh, we're going to be on Vivo, Vimeo, on everything possible. So keep an eye out for us. And if at any time you say yes, give us the thumbs up and everything. You could also catch Chris Busy B bzz, 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 at HRR dot thug government, one word, T H U G O V T, at Gmail, Facebook, MySpace, The Beehive, name it, we're there. It's your mama's house. Okay. And, uh, Big shout out to Lex Diamonds, who's making us some phenomenal cartoons. Phenomenal. I love them. Keep them coming. Thank you very much. We support, you support. We'll get it cracking like that. Anyway, till next time, have a great one, people. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Adios, amigos.